That vegan teacher is an online viral media sensation. What is it about her, veganism, and what human beings eat that causes such controversy? Eating animals wrong, McDonald's. Is it that she's a bit judged because she's not what you expect to see on TikTok? Change your religion like you change your underwear. Like everything's a bit hippy dippy. Maybe people don't like that. Is that what it is? If you want to get to heaven, be better be vegan. Is it also that you, people don't like to be preached that? Yes, God. I'm trying to deliver your message. I know. I know, but I was just about to turn the camera on and then the devil came and broke my zipper. What the fuck do I do? I'm vegan myself, but I've always tried to stay clear of that kind of political aspect or at least the evangelical aspect of veganism. But the fact is that our diet and what we regard as sacred have always been intertwined. Early societies, hunter-gatherer societies, of course, worshipped, revered, held as sacred the meat or food that they hunted and uh, was an integral part of their diet. It's interesting that in the English language, there are different words for animals when they're alive to when they're served as food. A pig becoming ham or bacon, a cow becoming beef and chicken. Well, chicken's just chicken tonight, baby. But for me, there is something about the way not eating animals necessarily being fundamentally and entirely wrong, but it does seem that it's something we need to keep at arm's length. And this vegan teacher, or that vegan teacher, in the very first joke of hers that I have seen, is sort of satirically and humorously claiming a divine connection, which societies have always done. Meat-eating societies, the apportioning of meat was sort of integral to Greek society. In fact, the word carnival, of course, comes from the same root as carnivore and is about the way that meat is apportioned among members of society or a tribe. Who gets what cut? Who gets the best bit of the sacrificial oxen, of the object that is required for us to remain alive. On a more obvious biochemical level, we are kept alive by what we eat and what we eat becomes us. So my own veganism and my own participation in the vegan festival next year, should it go ahead, is uh, like it's important to me, but I like to stop short of judgment or condemnation of other people on the basis of what they eat, the same way as I would not judge someone on the basis of what they wear or who they have sex with. Eating animals wrong, McDonald's. Hurting animals is wrong, McDonald's. Is it that it seems a bit unaware? Is it that, like it seems sort of overly sincere? I mean, I'm reductive. Hurting animals is wrong, completely agree with that. I am a vegan. I'm sort of not a real fan of McDonald's, except for how goddamn bloody delicious it is, you know? Like, I agree, obviously, with everyone's right to express themselves freely. I'm simply trying to understand why this woman has become the subject, and I think that part of it might be a kind of... Um, unblinking sincerity. Because God has a message for you, and here it is. Why the fuck aren't you vegan yet? Hmm? She's sort of being semi-ironic, I suppose. People don't like to be preached that, in it, with sort of anything. And I think even with me, like I'm always telling people my opinion, right? I'm doing it right now. But I hope it's done from a perspective of acknowledged fallibility and the kind of a sense of inquiry that I might be wrong. I've certainly been wrong before. It's part of the criticism and condemnation of her because she does not fit what our expectations might be. Like, latterly, veganism has been sort of rebranded, is it safe to say, whether it's through, frankly, fucking delicious Impossible Burgers, because I'm the kind of vegan that all I want is to eat things that taste like meat. A lot of people that are vegans aren't like that. They're like, no, no, stick with, like, the nuts and the stuff. Me, I want, just give me a goddamn hamburger without the thought that something's had to die so that I can have it. The reason I do it is because of my own ethics and morals. Like, I've always loved animals and I can't get my head around the idea. You know, that famous idiom, we are what we eat, suggests how significant diet is. It changes you, it changes your consciousness, it creates different cultures. This woman in particular, though, I think came to particular prominence when she sort of challenged Gordon Ramsay, who as well as being a chef, is of course a sort of, I guess, an advocate of uh, eating meat. Share this song, and if you call me a donut, that's fine. Vegan donut. Vegan from now on. 
don't think it's interesting when the lens of a culture falls on a particular person, whether it's from a condemnatory or celebratory perspective. You know now that this woman's going to crop up on TV shows, right? Is she getting interviewed on talk shows? Probably should be pr plucked from obscurity for a while and all that kind of thing. But essentially, it's like a meme. It's a divisive figure that's being sort of used as a kind of a cultural football so that two opposing teams can kick it around depending on their perspective. I'm pro-vegan. What she's saying is right. She should be allowed to say what she wants just because she's an older woman. She's being criticised. That's not right. Whereas the other side, like, who's she telling us eating meat is normal? It's ordinary. Why do you think we got these two for? Everyone will sort of really advocate for their own belief system. And this uh, vegan teacher is a, either a fortunate or unfortunate uh, subject of that debate. Gordon Ramsay doing his response video of uh, like eating a burger, that shows you that there is some polarity around it, that people are affected by this. People want to comment on it. Don't you sometimes think, like, what things in culture would you have elevated? Me, I think if I saw this on my phone, I'd just go, okay. You know, I, don't, I don't think that I would see this as, let's make this centrifugal. I don't know how it happens. That's basically what I'm saying. I'm trying to break down what those factors are. Veganism is obviously divisive because it's become sort of a, it's seen as a bit faddy when I think it's crucial from a, both an ecological perspective and an ethical perspective. But I think by the same token, you could uh, make an argument certainly for ethical meat production. Like this is as a vegan, I'd, not even meat production, animals. I mean, from a spiritual perspective, I don't feel like you should be killing or eating animals. However, I completely recognise that my dominion begins and ends with me. That's it. I'm the only person that I can say should be vegan. Perhaps people on some level, like look at their dog, they look at a burger, look at their dog, they look at a burger and think, oh God, I shouldn't be doing this, but God damn it, it's delicious. Well, I could make similar arguments about pornography. You know, it's perfectly entertaining and wonderful to watch pornography. The reason I don't do it is because I feel like it's on the whole, not positive. I don't care if you watch pornography, you do what you've got to do. But for me, I can't do it. Same thing, I've got to be, I have to be vegan. And I feel actually, I, in retrospect, I was culturally bullied into it. <laughs> I was vegetarian, I'm vegetarian, come on, a bit of cheese. No, not cheese, no, just the cheese, I really like it. Thing is, I tell you this, once you stop eating cheese <laughs> and eggs, all of it, so I think, I'm not eating the effluvia, menstruation, and byproducts of the sex lives of animals. <laughs> Change your underwear, change your religion Show God that you really care Change your religion, wanna try something new Use your critical thinking skills to question All you eat, drink, buy, think, say, and do I bet if you met her She's lovely. Now, what is it then? What's annoyed everyone so much? A content has stirred controversy. Massive amounts of internet trolling. Now, if you are an internet troll, like, to do a bit of trolling. If I, I never have done any trolling. I've never gone and done a bit of trolling. I've made mistakes in my life. I've not done internet trolling. I wouldn't do some trolling. I'll tell you something about this. Oh, yeah. You fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> if you are trolling, though, because you like it, say, what is in your heart <laughs> while you're doing the trolling? It's anger, isn't it? And sort of disdain and judgment. Now, it can't really be for her, can it? If I just get rid of her, Everything's going to be fine if I can get on with my bloody life. Bit too bloody upbeat. What do you mean, little cartoon pig floating up in there singing a song? It can't bother you that much, can it? It's not important. Or you could just completely ignore it. Sing this song and be vegan from now on. Yeah. Certainly, it would be good if, in my opinion, if more people were vegan. Certainly, it would be good, in my opinion, if there was a general sense, particularly online, of acceptance and tolerance beyond tolerance, because actually tolerance suggests that something's a bit annoying and you're putting up with it. Like a deep acceptance that people are so different. There's all sorts of kooky, crazy beliefs out there. And me, all right, people like to eat meat. People I love, people I live with eat meat, for God's sake. My wife, change your religion. You know, just you be you, I'll be me. Let's try and be loving and accepting of one another and see if we can conceive of a better and more beautiful world. Certainly part of that is going to be an acceptance that people are different from one another. If that vegan teacher can teach us anything, it's not actually about veganism or eating meat. I think it's about allowing people to express themselves and indeed to oppose other people's views, hopefully in good grace and in good humour, knowing that for now at least, we all share this planet together. And that's why I've written a little song. Be more tolerant of one another and show God that you're his mate and his brother. Oh God, old son. Is this annoying? I don't know. I mean, that's just how I communicate.